Wind also a big factor all over the Bay Area, including the North Bay. There's been a lot of rain there, particularly a powerful but short burst earlier this afternoon. NBC Barrios Sergio Quintana is live in Roner Park where he was in the middle of that burst of rain. And Sergio, what is it looking like right now and how's it been going all day? Uh, right now, it's actually pretty calm. It's still a little bit breezy, but I'll tell you that that storm that did blow through here at 1.30 this afternoon was pretty dramatic, but it really only lasted for a few minutes. And again, it's that wind that has been a constant. It's been making sure that people hang on to their hats and making sure doors don't whip open because of gusts. In and around Santa Rosa, the sun has managed to peek through the clouds for most of the day, but an afternoon burst of rain did cause plenty of cars on the roads and freeways to slow down for a while. Anna says she could feel her car getting buffeted by the wind while she was on the freeway, but wasn't too worried. She says when you live in California, you get used to all kinds of weather, but there have been some spin-outs that looked concerning. I saw a Tesla that had derailed, I think it only had one wheel left. It was, it was really bad. Um, it slowed down traffic and it was pouring, it was raining so hard. That one was near Petaluma, but there have been no reports of serious injuries because of traffic incidents so far today. A little further north in Windsor, some of the rural roads have been closed for parts of the day because of flooding. But those are mostly local access roads where most people in those areas know this happens from time to time. A lot of the road flooding and the local creeks, which look like they're near crest stages, is because of runoff from the last couple days of rains out here. Still, people who know the area well welcome the rain. Yep, especially where I live. We have well water, so we pray for the, the rain. And here in Roner Park, there have been a couple of power, outage, power outages, but I did just check the PG&E uh, map on this, and it looks like PG&E crews have been able to restore power to one of them, and they are currently working on that second neighborhood. Reporting live in Roner Park, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News. Okay.